I found a room at the Grand Hotel du Louvre with an excellent view. I'm looking forward to trying my hand at these Paris streets. They are often called ugly, but they are so silvery, so glowing, so full of life. As a Jew in Paris, I have often felt like an outsider. And now I have finally broken through. I'm to have a solo exhibition featuring my 30 views of Paris at the Paul Durand Ruel Gallery. I've been informed that one of the street scenes, my Rue Saint-Honoré afternoon rain effect, has been sold to a prominent businessman from Berlin named Julius Cassier. I am delighted. Blessed are they who see beautiful things in humble places where other people see nothing. I always loved the Pissarro that hung above the sofa in my grandmother's at Ludwigstrasse 176. That Munich apartment was the only place as a child I ever truly felt at home. I can still hear the warm cadence of her voice, the lively enthusiasm of her gestures as she turned my attention to Pissarro's skill. Isn't it a wonder, Klaus? Look at the play of light, the free and airy brushwork, the busy street alive with the people moving toward a distant but unknown destination. Unknown indeed. On March 30, just three weeks after the Nazis came to power, authorities shut down my father's company and confiscated everything we owned. That night, with little else than the clothes on our backs, my father and I fled to Prague, the first of many harrowing flights I would take before the war's end. My grandmother, ever the optimist, stayed in Munich. Like so many others, she believed that unbridled ignorance and evil could never prevail. She soon realized her folly. She and her second husband, Dr. Otto Neubauer, did manage to flee in 1939. Of course, they too lost almost everything, including the beloved Pissarro. People will wonder why I let this happen. <laughs> 